Hey, how's it going on? I hope it's going absolutely fantastic for you. It's been a great week for me. And in case some of you did follow up with my story on Instagram as well as on YouTube, I suddenly, randomly, abruptly posted a story that I'm taking a break from YouTube. Instead of posting videos on the series that I was making on every single day or schedule it somehow, I decided that I'm going to post all of the videos in one day and I'm going to take a break. I was thinking of taking this small break for a really long time and every time I just like I'll do this after that, I'll do this after that. And this time I decided I don't need a plan, I just need to do it right now. The computer that you see behind me, I haven't touched it in the last entire week. Not even a little bit. I didn't turn on my laptop, I didn't turn on my computer. And I thought I will never say this, but I enjoyed my week. It was absolutely fun. I never thought I'm going to be the person who will say that taking a small break is something that I'm going to be loving it, but I enjoyed it. And I'm really confused that why was this? I've been a person who constantly liked to work and I enjoyed that part as well. From the last three years, I have not taken a single break, not even on Sundays. I've been constantly working on something or the other thing. But I realized that the advice that I give on the code part, that whenever the code is not working, take a small break. I actually enjoyed that same advice when I gave it to myself of taking a small break from making the videos or even doing any kind of work. I actually enjoyed it and I never thought I'm going to be saying it out loud, but yeah, I enjoyed it. See, YouTube is a great place and I know there are some problems in this platform, but on the overall, I think that YouTube evolves you a lot as a person in general. I've been making videos from a really long time, even before when I came onto the YouTube. It's been three years or three and a half years that I'm on YouTube, but I've been making video courses from a really long time. And I've not seen that much of development in my personal life. And uh, I saw that development once I came on YouTube. A lot of opportunities, a lot of personal development, personal growth, a lot of growth as an individual, a lot of growth as a company. I have seen a lot of it and I am enjoying a lot of it. But the only thing that is the downside of being a YouTuber, there are definitely a couple of more as well, but the only thing that I see as a straightforward is this constant pressure of creating videos. And I am a person who loved to make videos, even I loved it before being on YouTube. I have created so many videos and I love that process. Uh, sometimes, or even some of you don't know that whatever you post in the comment section below, hey, make the video on this tech or make video on that, I take screenshot on a lot of them. And sometimes I do take printout for a lot of those requests. And I put them on a wall in front of me that, hey, this request needs to be checked off, this request needs to be done. And I do that a lot. I've never discussed that openly and publicly, but I do check out a lot of comments and I want that this tech should go first, this should go out. And I always loved that process. That's why I'm constantly churning these videos. And I love that process. I love how to do these camera tricks and how to do my videos better, have better content quality, better audios and videos and editing and a whole lot of that. But the thing is that sometimes when you take a break, it's actually good for you. Tech in general, is something that I absolutely love. And whether it's just a new mobile phone or a camera or a tech in general or new programming language, I'm always excited about it. My face just lights up by seeing a new tech or new programming language or even a new mobile phone. I just love it. But what I realized is sometimes giving yourself a small break is also necessary, but not really for long. So does this video means I am back onto my work streak? No, not yet. I promised myself for a small break and to do one thing that I have always been trying to do. And until I'm finished and done with this, I'm not gonna be back on YouTube. The plan is to be back on YouTube by the second week of the January 2020. And I hope I will be done with that. Last entire week has been fun and I enjoyed a lot, but now I want to travel a little bit as well. Uh, this is going to be my 31st country that I'm going to be visiting. 
The first time that I stepped out of this country was in Paris. The second time I was in Switzerland. And in Switzerland, I met this lovely old couple that was from Japan, having a little bit small chat, probably half an hour with them. I wanted to visit Japan from that really, really long time. During this time, I visited a whole lot of countries, but this thing that I wanted to visit Japan was never fulfilled. But this time, I realized that enough is enough. I should pack my bag and should hit Japan. My bag is all packed up. All camera gears are also packed up. And by the time you will be watching this video, I either will be in the flight to the Japan or might be already in Japan. The reason for creating this video was just to express my feeling of how it feels to take a break after three years, as well as give you some of the tips because New Year is around corner. And I always want you to just forget about what happened in the past, whatever has happened, good or bad, it's just a part of life. It's time that we all together come up and reset the things and can do something what's coming up and can do something really amazing for this 2020. For me, 2020 is gonna be a fantastic year. I have planned up a lot of giveaways, a lot of free in-house trainings, a lot of free online trainings, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of courses as well is planned up and I'm gonna be doing that a lot. But I want you to do something as well. In the 2020, I know many years, many years in the past, you have also decided to stay fit, to learn more things. But this is the time that one more time we get up and we try it one more time. So in 2020, I want you to take a resolution that yes, 2020 is going to be the year of fitness and the year of learning. I want you to stay more fit. I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, every new year there is a lot of hurdle in the gym and, and the gyms are crowded and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm aware of it. But there is no wrong in trying one more time. So we're going to try to be fit more, at least a little bit better than the previous year. And we promise ourselves to learn more, whether that's productivity, whether that's being a better person or a better programmer. And before we start this new exciting year of 2020 with a lot of learning, a lot of fitness, a whole lot of work, I also would like to advise you, take a small break before 2020 comes up, probably two days or at least three days, give yourself a small break, small break from all of the social media, all of the YouTube videos, all of the work that you are doing. And I've never thought that I'm gonna be saying this out loud, but yes, giving yourself two or three days of break, meet up your parents, meet up with your friends, it's gonna be fantastic. So go ahead, give it out a try. This video was not scripted. I never wrote any bullet points for that, that what I'll be talking or something. This video was more over in general. I turned on the camera and I'm honestly talking to myself just. <laughs> so that's, that's all the updates that I wanted to give you. I am really enjoying. I gave myself, with a lot of work, I gave myself in the last three years the zombie eyes or the panda eyes. They are recovering. Uh, the dark circles are going away a little bit. I don't, I'm not sure they'll be completely gone because I know myself I'll be back again with the work. But yeah, it's been really fantastic. I hope that the new year brings you a lot of joy, a lot of success, a lot of fitness, and a lot of enthusiasm to work, becoming a better person in a whole lot of different ways. So with this, I will be sharing a lot of photos and Instagram and on a variety of other places as well for my Japan trip. If you want to be updated with some fun stories of Japan, follow me up on Instagram and I will definitely post up the new video. And the next video will be back on to some exciting stuff of the tech that I absolutely love. With this, I wish you a very, very happy new year.
Christmas time.